where will you spend eternity? Well, a lot of people say that if you're with God, you'll spend eternity with God, and if you're not with God, you'll spend eternity in that other place. But there seems to also be some confusion about where God's people will spend eternity. Where does the church spend eternity? We're going to take a look at some of the things that man says, and mostly we're going to look at what the Bible says to see if we can determine the answer. Once again, as is the same with all my teachings, is I try to contrast things that we've heard with the things that we see written in the Word of God and try to understand what God is saying about these things that are important to us. So, we're going to take a look at where the church spends eternity as it's stated in the Bible. There are many passages about eternal life and the place of eternity and the nature of eternity for God's people. Now let's take a look. Where the church spends eternity. Many Christians believe that the church will spend eternity in heaven. Is that true? What does God say about where his church will spend eternity? Now it's also clear that anybody in God, if they were to die, they would go to be with Christ, who we're told is in heaven at the present time. But that's not the question we're talking about. We're talking about where will the church spend eternity? In this passage of Matthew, we see that the church inherits eternal life when the kingdom of God comes. In speaking of his kingdom, Jesus said, at the renewal of all things, this would be when he restores everything, the Son of Man will sit on his glorious throne, and you who have followed him, or followed me, will inherit eternal life. So he's referring to his coming kingdom when he restores everything on earth, and he says, then you will inherit eternal life. where the church spends eternity. When the Lord returns, the church will be with him forever. As it says in Thessalonians, the Lord himself will come down from heaven, because he's in heaven now, and the dead in Christ will rise first. And after that, we who are left alive will be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Now, if the church is going to spend eternity anywhere, it's going to need an eternal body, an immortal body, which we're told is the resurrected body. And here's a couple passages about that resurrected body. If this earthly tent we live in, which is our natural body, is destroyed, we have a building from God, which is our resurrected body, that Christ said he would prepare in heaven. In my Father's house are many rooms. I am going there to prepare a place for you. This would be our resurrected body. And I will come back and receive you to be with me where I am. Now, he's going to come back, and that means that he's returned to earth, and we will be with him where he is, and we'll be in this body, this resurrected eternal body. Let's look at some passages about the reign of Christ on earth. Here's a trustworthy saying, if we died with him, we will live with him, we will reign with him. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his kingdom will never end on the throne of David. The throne of David is on earth. You have made them to be a kingdom of priests and they will reign on earth. So the throne of Christ is on earth and we will reign on earth. Another aspect of the eternal life is in the inheritance that God has prepared for his people. For this reason, Christ is the mediator of a new covenant, the promised eternal inheritance. Blessed are the meek, he says, for they will inherit the earth. The inheritance is connected to the earth. Now the dwelling of God is with men. Well, men are on earth. When Christ returns, he will dwell with men, and I am making everything new. Therefore, my brothers, make your election sure, and you will receive a welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. 
The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign with him forever and ever. The eternal kingdom is on earth. The eternal kingdom is when Christ returns and the kingdom of this world becomes the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ. Where the church spends eternity, the church inherits eternal life when God's kingdom comes on earth, when Christ returns. The church will spend eternity with Christ in his kingdom on earth. Why then are we told that our eternity is in heaven? Well, Christ is in heaven and our eternity is with Christ. But when Christ comes back and sets up his kingdom, we're not going to stay in heaven. Where the church spends eternity is really a pretty simple issue because the church should be aware that its eternity rests with Christ. Now Christ is currently in heaven, but when he returns, he will be with his body, the church, and the church will be with him, and he will reign on earth forever and ever. So the church's eternity is with Christ on earth.